Hi everybody. Hope everybody's doing good today. I'm feeling pretty good. It's been pretty much dreary the most of the day, like like it has been. Um, no real much rain going on or anything like that though. It's just overcast and stuff right now. Kind of cold. Um, today on the prayer list, let's remember Renee Davis and her her family, and. Uh, Donna, her fantastic mom, she uh, has had congestion and headaches, but um, I talked to her uh, uh, earlier today, and uh, she's doing much better. So that's very good. And uh, Cindy E. needs prayer for enormous stress at work, and I understand where she's coming from with that. It can really, really bother you, you know, if you were worried about going to work every day, what's going to happen. Um, and Tumbleweed's daughter, Sarah, has been in, in bad pain, and that's awful for, you know, a young uh, girl like that. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to pray for everybody on the prayer list today and anybody else out there that's sick or has depression or anything like that, Lord, that you'll help them to be able to come out of it, Lord, and be better. The Lord, say my pray. Amen. All right. Here for a minute. Now on our Bible verses today, we're reading from Genesis 16, 7 through 14. The angel of the Lord found Hagar near a spring in the desert, and it was the spring that is beside the road to Shur. And he said, Hagar, slave of Sarah, Sarai, where have you come from and where are you going? I'm running away from my mistress, Sarai, he answered. Then the angel of the Lord told her, Go back to your mistress and submit to her. The angel added, I will increase your descendants so that much that they will be too numerous to count. The angel of the Lord also said to her, You are now pregnant and you will give birth to a son. You shall name him Ishmael, for the Lord has heard of your misery. He will be a wild donkey of a man. His hand will be against everyone, and everyone's hand against him. And he will live in hostility towards all his brothers. She gave this name to the Lord who spoke to her. You are the God who sees me. For she said, I have now seen the one who sees me. That is why the well was called Bir Lahai Roy. It is still there between Kadesh and Barad. Okay. And our um, devotional reading today is from is uh, entitled "Seen by God." <clears throat> my first pair of eyeglasses opened my eyes to a bold world. I'm nearsighted, meaning objects close up are sharp and defined. Without my glasses, however, items across the room or in the distance are a blur. At age 12, with my first pair of eyeglasses, I was shocked to see clearer words on blackboards, tiny leaves on trees, and perhaps most important big smiles on faces. As friends smiled back when I greeted them, I learned that to be seen was as great a gift as the blessing of seeing. The slave Hagar realized that as she fled from her mistress Sarai's unkindness, Hagar was a nobody in her culture. Pregnant and alone, fleeing to a desert without help or hope, seen by God, however, she was empowered in return to see him no longer a vague concept, God became real to her, so real that she gave him God a name, El Roy, which means you are the God who sees me. She said, I have now seen the one who sees me. Our seeing God sees each of us too. Feeling unseen, alone, or like a nobody, God sees you and your future. In return, may we, want, may we see in him our ever-present hope, encouragement, salvation, and joy both for today and for our future. Praise him today for this gift of amazing sight to see the one true and living God. Amen. Okay. Oh, I want something over there. All right. Jokes of the day. All right. It's that time. 
Two little boys were at a, w a wedding when one leaned over to the other and asked, How many wives can a man have? His friend answered, Sixteen, four better, four worse, four richer, and four poorer. Wow. Sixteen. Why did Shakespeare only write in ink? Pencils confused him. To be or not to be. <laughs> I was trying to develop a joke about pallets, but I'm not able to find one that stacks up. A man is applying for a job in a circus. The interviewer asks, so, what can you do? I can do a really good bird impression, replied the man. Oh, we already have people that do that here. We won't be needing you for that. Oh, well, the man said sadly and flew away. Uh, come back! No! Come back, we don't have anybody that flies. Too late, bro. I phoned my work this morning and said, Sorry, boss. Uh, I can't come in today. I have a wee cough. <clears throat> he said, You have a wee cough? I said, Really? Thanks, boss. I could use a wee cough. Ah! Uh, 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 you tricked your boss. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let me see where I was. Okay, did you hear about the old man whose birthday uh, one year lasted only one minute? It was his 62nd birthday. <laughs> While away from home in college, I wrote a letter to my dad. It said, no mun, no fun, your loving son. He wrote back saying, too bad, so sad, your loving dad. Oh, no mun, no fun. <laughs> I realized the impact of computers on my young son one evening when there was a beautiful sunset. Pointing to the western sky, David said, I wish we could click and save that. <laughs> I went to my bank's ATM to check my balance. It printed me out a coupon for Raymond Noodles. <laughs> Thanks. Are you trying to say I'm poor? All I can afford is Raymond, like everybody else. <laughs> a coupon instead of his balance, even. <laughs> Why? Well, I am going out for two hours. Do you want anything? Husband. No, that's enough. <laughs> Last joke of the day. <laughs> I have this condition where I eat if I can't sleep. It's called insomnomnomnomnia. <laughs> okay, that's enough jokes of the day. And now... It's time for Who is this? And today Oh, who is this? Yesterday Oh yeah, yesterday It was Vivian Vance Lucy Sidekick uh, Ethel Merman <laughs> She's funny too And our man of the day yesterday was Richard Thomas, John Boy, sure was, and we can check that one off. And today, on who is it, we have this little girl had her own comedy show in the late 60s and early 70s. I believe that was about the right time period. Uh, it was very funny. Tim Conway was on the show or not. Uh, Mrs. Wiggins, or <laughs> he'd say, Mrs. Wiggins. <laughs> and this was get where they were in the office. Okay. And our man of the day. He was Gomer Pyle. In Gomer Pyle, I think it was called Gomer Pyle USMC TV show. He was also actually a great singer. He had some albums 
quite a few albums actually. You never would have thought it, but so that's that's that. And now it's tablet time. Tablet time. Yes. And today on tablet time, I'm trying to see what all. I think I showed that. It was the last thing I showed. So we'll see what this is. It's all squunched up in the picture, so I can't really tell. I better look at it. <laughs> yeah. When you get in your car after your wife drives it. Oh, the seat's way too far up. Come on. No, I didn't say to do that. What in the world? These things been doing funny things. Uh, Logan's tablet's been acting up too. It just does uh, opposite of what you press. It'll do something. There it goes on its own. And this one says, load, please. Oh, John, the baby even has your dimples. <laughs> now, let's see. Oh, yeah. This one is Let's make it a little bit bigger. Bob, why are you always up in my grill? <laughs> you always up in my grill, man. <laughs> okay. And have you seen my eyeglasses, dear? What did you say? I lost my hearing aid. That's, that's me and Joy. <laughs> We're losing stuff all the time. Okay. I don't think this is what a service dog is supposed to be like. <laughs> Waiting on that dog hand and foot. <laughs> and... Is that all? That one, that one. That one, that one, and them. Uh, let's see what we got after this. Oh, here we go. We had, um, Joy and I had uh, fish sticks last night and the cauliflower fries, you know, and we bake those. So you, don't, you don't fry those in oil, so they are healthy. And tater tots, and those are sauces, you know, with it tartar and ketchup and some of that french fry sauce from Walmart. It's really good. And we had some a couple pieces of flounder left over in the freezer and uh, Logan wanted it so instead of fish sticks he had uh, I fixed him some flounder just put some seasonings on it like Mrs. Dash and some garlic powder and some lemon juice I believe it was. And those cauliflower fries are just as good as a broccoli. I really kind of like the broccoli a little bit more. But they're good too. And that's the only way I can eat those two vegetables. And so we're going to be, you know, get at least a couple bags a month. Joy made a homemade cherry pie. That was what was left of it with uh, some ice cream. That was uh, Logan's piece. I can't eat much ice cream at all. But... I, if you've got ice cream, vanilla ice cream, you got to have some with cherry pie. Come on. I make sure I take my uh, dairy, my lactate pills. And I don't know if y'all can see this good enough to even show it. This is a recipe it's that uh, Joy, Tucker, and myself uh, came up with together. We did a collab on, and it's called Stuffing Stuffed Burger Bake. I can get it all in there if y'all see and it turned out really good really good I'm gonna have to make it again but uh, I just thought this was a nice picture 
and uh, I've got some other recipes here. I don't know if y'all want to see. I don't have too many. I got the deviled eggs. I, I know y'all probably, everybody has their own recipe for deviled eggs, pretty much. And um, this is what I'm making. It's in the crock pot right now. It's called potluck potatoes. It's in the crock pot. The only thing I, I didn't... Uh, I didn't remember that you're supposed to, it says cooked potatoes. I mean, you're supposed to cook them first, but, um, so I just put, I, you know, I had already mixed this stuff up, so I put them just on high instead of low, and I'm sure they'll be, they'll cook fine. We've put potatoes plenty of times in the crock pot, and, you know, with beef stew and stuff like that, and it cooks just as well, so, um, it looks really good. It's got, uh, the potatoes, a cream of chicken, sour cream, shredded cheddar. Um, I couldn't find much cheddar, so but I found some um, slices of Colby Jack, so I just tore it up, you know, kind of like shredded and finished it out with that. And then it's uh, melted butter, chopped onions. Joy doesn't want me to eat raw onions or, you know, onions that might not be all the way cooked anymore, so <clears throat> I um, put an uh, onion soup mix instead in, my, in ours. And garlic powder, salt, and pepper. It's really not very hard to do. Um, it says low three to four hours, but since the potatoes weren't cooked, I put it on high for probably about the same amount of time. And uh, I'll take a picture of it tonight. We're gonna have, um, we got some Curly's barbecue that was buy one, get one free at Kroger's. And, um, you know, we've had it for a little while. I showed it on one of my hauls. And, uh, but it's the one with no sauce because I'd rather even put my own sauce, like some Sweet Baby Ray's, or if I feel like it, I might even make my own barbecue sauce. But, uh, my recipe that, of uh, my own recipe of barbecue sauce, it makes such a big batch that I don't want to make all that much right now. So, I'll probably just use the bottled, um, recipe um let's see this one i don't know if y'all can see that good or not i was playing hide and seek and winning and then they decided to let the canine play too <laughs> Let's see if this comes out. Um, the, I, my mom makes this for me. She asks me what I want on my birthday all the time. I mean, all the time, once a year. And uh, this is what I always want. Jello julep. And it's good stuff. It really is. You can't stop eating it. And then this is one I usually make on the holidays. called George Washington salad. It looks like I'm barely fitting that in there. Oh my gosh, that stuff's so good too that I could eat a whole pan of it. Uh, I'm thinking that's probably, I think I showed everything. I had an extra. But in the, on who, who is this, y'all, uh, if you haven't done it before, um, you guess who you think the man and woman is and then tomorrow I'll show the, the grown up picture of them and then I'll give you two more and we just show it you know like the next day so I think that one just messed up I messed up and may have shown that one so y'all just got an extra uh, bonus on that one I didn't mean to because I had it turned <laughs> I sitting here flipping through these and I showed it but that's the way it goes sometimes if you if you're watching good you'll you'll catch it I'm sure <laughs> so everybody should be right on the woman tomorrow <laughs> oh Lord. it's hard sometimes to remember you know what what I should show and like the answers to things or whatever <laughs> it's hard to, to remember to not show something that's like on who is this and uh, 
it was a little bit of work I put into this, into this each day. I spend probably an hour each day looking through jokes because if y'all think this these are corny, you ought to see the ones that I, I pass up. <laughs> yeah, I, I try to get some that if if it you know barely makes me laugh at all, it's better than a lot of them. <laughs> so I try to get one that you know that tickles me some. But anyways, um, really don't have anything else. Congratulations to our gift card winner, Sassy T. And it's in the mail. I sent it out. The mailman picked it up when he brought our mail today. So it's on the way. And uh, we're thinking about uh, probably doing one more at 300. And then probably skipping from the uh, 300 to 500 uh, before another one then but I, I'm thinking uh, thinking probably at 300 we'll do another type of a of a giveaway and uh, you know it, it's it's possible that the, some of these will just be in the United States and it's really hard to to do because I'd rather send a gift card and we'll see We'll see what happens anyways. So, yeah, it was fun and everything. I don't know, everybody, you know, I think everybody liked it and and it went, it went, it went well too. So, and it made me happy to, to be able to help someone. So it made all, all my family happy. So I, I guess that's it for today. And, um, I'll take a picture of, of the, dinner tonight and show you all those potatoes uh, it, it, they're going to be really good I haven't made them in years and uh, so I don't really remember exactly what they're like but someone told me already that uh, I sent the recipe to on messenger that it was a lot like hash brown casserole and I have made hash brown casserole a lot and it does seem a lot like it but using fresh potatoes instead of frozen hash browns or tater tots or whatever but yeah it is a lot like that one so the taste will be good and, and i love hash brown casserole so i don't know if i showed these or not they're sitting here they weren't sitting here till today banana pudding vanilla cereal <clears throat> i tried it and it's really good it doesn't have like pieces of banana though, and I don't know what that is. And it's like little, looks like little marshmallows. Yeah, I reckon. Looks like the ones that's in like Lucky Charms. And this is the Lucky Charms we got right now. It's the fruity, fruity Lucky Charms. This is in honor of the uh, uh, cartoon that I showed yesterday. When he said. No, that wasn't Lucky Charms. That was Rice Krispies. That's right. <laughs> I don't have any Rice Krispies. Well, anyway, that's it, y'all. Um, we'll probably just, any hauls we have now will probably just be small ones, you know, uh, things we're running out, we run out of or forgot to get for a certain recipe or something like that or things when you want to make a recipe, you have to go get because we've got everything we need for the month. That's what we do at the first of the month and then we just coast until it's time again so everybody have a great day press that like button and um, hit subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell so that you'll get all my videos as they come out and I appreciate everybody so very much God bless bye bye